okay welcome back we want to take a look at this idea of simple interest and compound interest but using an example an example that I made up so let us say that you invest one million dollars so in this case you have a principal which is the investment of one million dollar let's say P is one million dollars invest it at an interest interest rate of 10 percent per annum that means per year at um for three years so let us say our time is three years all right now in year one year one let us imagine that you made the investment on january one of year one so you put in one million dollars into your account under a simple interest agreement let's imagine also that the bank doesn't calculate the interest until say december 31 now what is your interest the interest that you get is 10 percent of 1 million is 10 per remember per mean divide cent means a hundred ten percent off of what one million ten percent of a million is one hundred thousand dollars one hundred thousand dollars let me put in the commas so it's a hundred thousand dollars now under a simple interest agreement what you have is an example of a fixed deposit because when they calculate the one hundred thousand dollars they don't put it back in they don't add it to what is in your account they print a check all right so they print a check and give it to you you can do whatever you want with it you could put it in another account you could spend it or whatever all right in year two it's fixed deposit so this one million dollar is fixed so say january january one you have the same million dollars in your account that is in your fixed deposit account because fixed deposits are generally well they are simple interest deposits all right so that's one million dollars come december 31 of year two the interest you get is 10 per cent of one million dollars which amounts to one hundred thousand dollars so that's done again the printer check and give it to you you may come in and collect it or they mail it to you it may be electronic but but the million dollars still remains at the beginning of year three say year three say january one and year three you have the same old one million dollars in your account let's say on december 31 of year three you get interest 10 per cent of one million dollars you get 10 percent of one million which is one hundred thousand dollars again what they do they print a check and give it to you so what you have is a fixed deposit account this one million dollar is fixed 
all right so that is a simple interest arrangement next time we look at compound interest and see what happens